Harrisburg, Pennsylvania has viewed across the Susquehanna River from Negley Park. The beauty of the state capitol buildings lay in contrast to the stark reality of addiction, pain, and crime that exists in Harrisburg. As of March 2012, a crime statistics website ranks Harrisburg number 20 in the top 100 most dangerous cities in the U.S. The odds of being the victim of violent crime are 1 in 62. 100 miles away, Philadelphia ranks 52. A hearty group of folks are invading the despair and hopelessness directly. Daystar Center for Spiritual Recovery brings life and hope to the hopeless. Started by the late Judith Coleman in 1996 as a mission of the United Methodist Church, Judith's husband, Larry Coleman, describes how Daystar came to be. Uh, this building uh, became vacant and she's looking at buildings because she's always looking at projects to start. Uh, and lo and behold, uh, she went to the conference trustees, and, or actually the district superintendent, and he went to the conference trustees. Uh, and a week later, or two weeks later, she got the keys. Went in and there was holes in the wall, there was, it was dirty, <laughs> infested. But she didn't see that, she saw the opportunity. A place that was zoned for rooming house, and she said, we're going to do a halfway house for recovering addicts. And within a short time, uh, she had people cleaning it up. And I think it took us two years to really get to a place where we could uh, do a licensed transitional house. 1996, we incorporated uh, September of 1996, uh, Daystar Center for Spiritual Recovery. And here we are today with 14 uh, rooms, most of the time full of persons that are being helped to overcome their addiction. Uh, it's been a quite a remarkable story. In fact, that she died uh, April 11th, 2005. <laughs> what a blow to me personally, and what a blow to the program. But she had had taught the persons, inspired the persons, the board, and other persons about the importance of this project, such that uh, we were able to sustain the loss of her leadership and continue it over these last. Uh, seven years. It seems fitting that Daystar is next to a church. Daystar, Center for Spiritual Recovery, becomes community for those who need it the most. I had a chance to talk to some of the people who've benefited from Daystar and they had this to say. Um, my name is Jesse. I was a client at Daystar and uh, I came here in uh, 2010 and uh, Daystar saved my life, honestly. Uh, I love it. It's a great place to be. The people that work here really care, and um, I'm not sure what I would have done otherwise. So thank you, Daystar. My name is Dave from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I came to Daystar three years ago because for 45 years I was drugging and drinking, selling drugs, and doing everything under the sun. Now I can walk this down the street with my head up and set it down. I ain't got to look over my shoulder no more. And you know, anybody trying to get help. They start is here to help you, but you got to help yourself. You know what I mean? You got to help yourself because you can go out in society and people will promise you the world and give you a donut. They start trying to get you to believe in yourself and stand on your own. This is really simple. I've been to over 100 rehabs, institutions, and hospitals with the same result, failure in the end. Daystar, a place I now call home, has managed to keep me drug free for over 17 months. That is the longest that I've been clean since I was 15. I'm almost 40 now. To quote my mother, she simply said, I'm glad to have you back. She was able to say that directly because of the results of the efforts of Daystar and its staff. They saved my life. Simply saved my life. You're looking at over a million dollars spent in insurance costs in over since I was 15. Some rehabs over five times I went to that I'm not allowed to. Hospital shopping, 20 times to a different hospital. They said, get, just get out, Joe. No, by name. I had seizures from, from doing crack. I was life flighted from Chester County Hospital to Jefferson Hospital, almost dead. C5 and C6 crack from the result of smoking crack. It's a miracle. The stories these folks have shared are stories of miracles. But the miracles in the lives of the clients of Daystar are not the only miracles that occur. Larry Coleman has this to share about what it means for churches to become involved in the mission of Daystar. Uh, we 
we've been successful at running this operation, we really need to reclaim a couple of things. We need to make it bigger, but we also need to claim that engagement of the churches with this program and with our men and, uh, and begin to, to get churches involved uh, because it can really transform a church when they begin to get in touch with, with what the spirituality of recovery is and the excitement of seeing people's lives changed.